Hey everybody, James Jigger with Type Response. Magazines. Uh, the weakest part of the gun is the magazine. It's the most likely common for an error. And if they're not kept clean, uh, you, in, you you multiply that uh, the chances of you having a problem with your gun. The reason we carry a spare mag is not for more ammo. It is so we can fix a gun that is broken. Let's clean this thing right now. All right, uh, cleaning a magazine. Glock mags are <laughs> uh, probably the most <laughs> used and abused. Um, and I like to use this little product right here to pull the base plate off. Just, it makes it, you know, you can get it off without this, but it just, the mag claw makes it so much easier. And uh, I'll explain why. Uh, so it'll, you jam it in right there, and then it uses, use that as a lever to pull it off. Now the reason it's so hard to pull off The reason it's so hard to pull off are these two little tabs right here. And those things coincide with these two little tabs right here. So you got to pull it <clears throat> over those tabs. Um, so it makes it makes it a pain in the pain in the, the ass. So I got I got all these mags right here and they're they could be different generations that when I know there's a 10 rounder there. Uh, they're different generations, maybe, or whatever the case may be. So my advice to you is always clean one magazine at a time because the springs can be different, the followers can be different, the plates and things. And if you get that combination mixed up, let's say there's just two different kinds, how long will it take you to find the right combination to put those mags back together? So my advice is only take one apart at a time because I've told people only clean one at a time and they still take all the mags apart at the same time. And that's not what I mean. So only take them apart one at a time. There's no reason to do it any other way. It doesn't make the chore any faster to do it any other, any other way. So now, never recommend any, any kind of lubrication at all inside of a magazine. Uh, but uh, you could, uh, but if it's really dirty, like these are dirty on the outside, they got mud and grime on them and stuff like that. And so you could use, uh, you could use hot soapy water or something like that, or you could just use some breakthrough solvent. And, uh, but you know, if you're cleaning this at the range, you probably don't have access to hot soapy water. So I'm telling you, you use the breakthrough. Um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to not put anything inside the magazine. But that gets the the outside spick and span clean as a whistle, just in a, in a second. Um, and uh, we're gonna use a, a brush, just a dry brush to to brush this out. If there's something excessively crazy going on, or if you and I've seen this before, people put over lubricate their guns to the point where oil leaks out of the gun into the magazine, then you're gonna to need to use solvent to get that out of there. But at the, at, the, the, at the end of this cleaning, we want no solvent, no lubricant inside of this magazine at all. None, none, none. Okay, so that, that's the cleaning of the, the mag itself. So when you do this, cleaning is not just cleaning, it's also inspection. So we're gonna look for things that are cracked down the back of the Glock magazine, that's where it joins. That's where the piece of sheet metal comes together, and it's affectionately known to known as the zipper. That's typically the part that that malfunctions in a Glock magazine. And so, if your zipper is broken, that that magazine should be taken out, should not be used. And and this is a wear item, so buy new mags periodically. You might wonder why I have the orange base plates. Well, I have training mags and I have, you know, carrying mags. So my trainers all get orange base plates and that's so I don't mix them up with my carry mags. And of all my mags get name and number uh, because I, I want to be able to get my magazine back during a class. Even though it's got an orange base plate, I might not be the only dude. So uh, Jaeger. And then uh, if I have problems, I keep having a problem with old number three, then I know that number three needs to be replaced. And I don't try to rehab these things. I chunk the whole thing in the damn trash. Guys, they're, they're and I'm not trying to act like a, you know, daddy warbucks over here, but they're, they're 20 bucks. Like don't keep, don't, don't have a mag that doesn't work in your stable. And people go, I thought it was good training. No, no, no. no it's not. People that, that don't know anything about training think that having broken shit, substandard shit's good for training. It's not. So. This is called the follower, so I've got it all clean just uh, with the, 
brush pretty easy. When you put this thing back together, if this comes apart, it, there is a, a bottom and a top of this spring. They, they do look different. And uh, you can't just set this on here. It actually snaps in. And, and, it, and it's pointed the same direction. So like you wouldn't want to try to put it in that way. Okay. Kind of goes in that way. Goes in and then it's going to, it's going to stick out a little bit at the top. Uh, this is a retainer plate. It's got a pin that matches the hole. Push that thing down, hold it there. Now it could fly out. So point it away from your face when you do this. And then you're going to slide this back on. You're going to get some resistance when it gets to that, that little peg there. You're going to get some resistance and have to push further. But, oh, of course, trying to do this we're on the camera. And so you'll just push it in and you'll make sure that that pin locks in um, and just kind of check the mag. Just, yep, we've got a mag that works. Uh, relatively clean <laughs> magazine put back together. No oil inside the mag ever. That's it down and dirty you got to get them clean you got to keep them clean <laughs> uh, no oil ever inside and always carry a spare mag because that's the best way to fix your gun james jacob for time response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends